Natalie! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Have you gotten the divorce papers that I've sent you as your birthday present? <laughs> so you didn't get around to reserving a restaurant for me or anything on my special day? I left work early today to come spend my birthday with you going out to eat. Is that so? Well, that's too bad for you. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I've never actually planned on reserving a restaurant for us to go have dinner at. I've chosen that the best present to give you this year is the present of divorce. <laughs> is that right? Is that all because you found yourself another woman? You got that right. Unlike you, she's a young and dazzling woman whom I'm happy to call my future wife. Starting the moment you and I hand in those papers and get our divorce, I'm going to have a whole new life happening around me. And it'll be way better than the one I'm living now. <laughs> Does this also mean that you've been cheating on me with her? Well, I suppose you could say that. And so what? If you'd like to get a settlement fee or something, then go right ahead and do so. I'll pay whatever price you ask of me, as long as I get to be with my new woman. <laughs> So you just think that being open about something like cheating is going to make everything A-OK -okay for you? Well, since you're pretty much done with me, you're never coming back to this house, right? That's right. I'm never going back there. You and I are over with, and I no longer want anything to do with you. I think you're best off getting on one of those dating apps after today, and try your luck at finding a new man that'll love you as well. <laughs> but let's be real here. There are no men that would be willing to make you their partner, with how awful you look now after aging. <laughs> you must think you're on top of the world just because you were able to reel a younger woman into your life. If you want, I can show you some pictures of what she looks like. I'll send them to you right now, actually. <laughs> Her name is Faye. She is a good-looking young woman, isn't she, Ken? But tell me, why would someone as good-looking as her be willing to choose you to be her husband? The reason for that is because I'm an elite employee, working in one of the largest companies in America. You and I never had any kids either, so that means my pockets are loaded in her eyes. <laughs> to a young and beautiful looking woman, a man with a really good job who's in his 40s is one heck of a steal. You are far too old to be saying things like that about yourself now, so please stop. I'm being serious about this. Even Faye herself told me that she's in love with me because of my career and money. <laughs> Now, starting the moment you hand in those divorce papers, I'm going to be living a very happy and exciting new life. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Natalie. And make sure that you never try and contact me again, please. <laughs> hey, Natalie. Are you doing alright? Are you sure you're not too sad about everything? After something like that, you are more than welcome to come and stay at my house. I'm totally fine, Christy. Thank you for listening to me as I talked earlier. That really helped me get a lot off my chest about how I'm feeling, and I'm a lot happier because of it. But, like I was telling you before, I feel refreshed after being left behind by a man like him. I actually knew for a little while that he was testing the waters with me by going out with other women, and I was right when I figured he must have been planning to leave me for a younger girl. Things happened a lot faster than I expected them to, however... Having this happen has made me understand my situation a whole lot easier. Hmm. You really are handling this like an adult. If I were in your shoes, I would never let Ken see the light of day after doing something as selfish as that. So, uh, does this mean that you're going to move on with life and start fresh? I think so. It feels like I've had this huge weight lifted off of me and I'm able to move on my feet more lightly now. But I did say that I'm still going to get a settlement from him, so it's not all over just yet. For some reason, I feel like men of his status are becoming more and more common. What do you mean, men of his status? Well, a few months ago, a colleague of mine at work happened to have the same thing happen with their husband. He went after a younger woman and left her. Huh? Is that so? Yeah. She was a complete mess after finding out about it because she never thought her husband would do that to her. But listen, a little while after she found out about this, she learned a very crazy thing. She heard that the younger woman that had been going out with her husband ended up having a scam marriage with him. 
A scam marriage? That's right. Her plan was to find older men with lots of money and use her beauty to get him to fall for her, all so that she could take what money she could from him and then leave. My colleague's husband was hurt after what the young woman did to him and tried going back to my colleague. But she wasn't going to have any of him and kicked him off her property for good. She really made him feel like a pile of crap in the end, huh? Whatever happened to that younger woman he'd married? Well, the police have still not been able to find her. But listen, about a month or so ago, there was a woman just like her walking around near my house. I only recognized her because my colleague showed me a picture from before. I think she's been on the prowl for another man in this area now. What? You happen to know what that younger woman's face looks like? I do. Her face was on the news as well after that last scam she pulled with my colleague's husband. I happen to have a picture of her on my phone, so I'll send it to you now. This is... This is the face of that younger woman! Yep. She really is one hell of a good-looking girl, right? I think she's got the perfect kind of face that would get any middle-aged man to throw their wife away for her. I get it now. This all... It all makes sense. What are you talking about? Do you happen to know her from somewhere? This woman! She's the one that Ken had been showing me pictures of before he left me! What? Are you for real? And wait, you happen to know the face of the woman your husband's been cheating on you with? Well, he was telling me she was young and very good looking. And after that, he sent me a picture of her to kind of brag some more about her. I have to say, there is no doubt here. The woman that scammed your colleague's ex happens to be the same woman that's with Ken now. That idiot, what the hell has he gotten himself into this time? So, that's why she's been around town this past month, then. And you're totally right about Ken. He's 110% an idiot. So what are you going to do about it, Natalie? What do you mean, what am I going to do about it? Well... You happen to know now that your ex-husband is going to be marrying someone who's about to scam him for all his money, right? Well, there's always the option to give him a call right now and tell him that he's being played right now. You think I have any reason to be that kind to him? I was the one he threw away in favor of her, right? And, well, I want him to experience what it's like to be thrown away by someone you love himself. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm really looking forward to learning about what happens after their marriage. <laughs> When something crazy happens, tell me all about it right away, okay? Sure thing. I'll let you know. Again, thank you so much for letting me talk with you today and telling me all this great news about his new younger woman. Hey, you and I are completely divorced now, right? So then why are you continuing to send me pictures of you and that woman still? Well, I just thought it was the perfect time for me to send you all of the wonderful pictures and I have taken on our little love excursion. <laughs> I mean, look at her! She's a total beaut. I mean, she could kill it in the modeling business, right? Had you been a little bit more like her, I might have given my marriage to you a couple of more years there. <laughs> you really love to talk that mouth off of yours, huh? So tell me, what does she think of you after you left me? She's telling me that she loves me every single day which is way more than you ever said that to me. And she's really been wanting for the two of us to get married already. She said that she'd be in charge of planning out the wedding and everything for me, as long as I gave her the money for it, so I've gone ahead and done just that for her. I'm really looking forward to the kind of wedding she has made for us. <laughs> wow. So you're already giving her loads of money then. What else is going on with you two? Have you been buying her lots of gifts and things like that now as well? Well, of course I have. Just like I'd done for you when we were younger. Although, I'd probably already given her more presents now than I ever gave to you our whole time together. <laughs> she always gets so happy and loving during those times, and that in return makes me feel great. Compared to that, 
you'd always just put on a fake smile and said thank you to me. <laughs> well, that's because every time you'd get me something, you'd have some kind of complaint about me to say along with it. Telling me I'm starting to look older or that my cooking is getting worse? I was just tired of all that crap from you, and you giving me a little gift to make up for it was not enough. I was in the same boat as you then at that point. <laughs> I would always have to come home from a long day at work to see an old hag working in the house. <laughs> really made me feel like I was married to the complete wrong person. You and I happen to be the same age though, Ken, so you have no right calling me an old hag. By the way, what about your job? I quit now. <laughs> I'm not coming back to that town anymore, as I've run off with Faye. <laughs> she and I are going to find a new town that's much more fun and exciting for us. And that's where I'll find myself a new job. Is that so? So you've gone all out now with starting that new life of yours? Well, I have no plans of returning back to the life I had there. <laughs> So there's no need for me to hold back. <laughs> You're more than welcome to throw all my things that I left there anyway. I'm not coming back for them. <laughs> They're no good to me anymore either. They've been in the same house as a 40-year-old hag, so I don't even want to see them. <laughs> Being able to get married to a much younger and far better looking woman than you is really going to take my life to the next level. <laughs> When you say next level, do you mean going up or going down? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop myself from laughing right now. <laughs> huh? I, I can't do this anymore. I was able to hold this laughter back for a while when talking to you, but I just can't do it anymore. Ken, do you really believe that Faye Chick is in love with you and really wants to be your wife? <laughs> of course I believe all of that. She's even gone and said she loves me herself. Are you starting to get jealous over her? <laughs> hey, come on now. Don't get too upset over this. <laughs> You're the only one who's going to be upset by all of this. Are you not finding all of this way too good to be true for yourself? How long have you even known that young girl? It's been a little over a month now. What does that have to do with anything, though? No matter how you try and look at that, there is something going on behind the scenes with that woman. <laughs> Why would some perfect-looking young woman like her choose to be with an ugly and aging old man like you? To her, my age and looks have no relation to the love she has for me. Have you seriously not noticed that yet? Age is just a number to most people. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you are that far lost in what lies she's been telling you? I sort of feel bad for you. It's like she's going to be stealing candy from a baby here soon. <laughs> Alright then. Well, you can go right ahead and continue having the best life you've ever dreamed of with her. I hope you're really looking forward to that wedding. I'm going to enjoy this life with her. And I'll make sure that it'll never end. Just to spite you. <laughs> See ya, you jealous hag. Stop talking to me for the rest of time, alright? <laughs> I really hope you can manage to keep that happiness lasting forever. But we'll just have to see. Come help me! Well, here you are already. I thought you told me just yesterday to never talk to you again, right? Did Faye do something really crazy to you that's got you coming to me for help now with your tail tucked? That witch! She was hiding her true intentions from me this whole time! She and I went and stayed in a hotel together for the night, and when I woke up, both my wallet and car were gone! She stole them both from me and ran away! Oh, you poor, poor thing. This must have been her goal this whole time with you then, right? Yeah. When I found my phone, I looked at it to see a message from her saying she'd leave it with me as the only thing she wouldn't take. She'd been planning to do this to me the whole time! Dang it! She plagued me like a dead fiddle! So, why are you wanting me to help you out now? I want you to lend me some of your money. I don't have any money on me right now, and Faye has my wallet with her. If I can't get any money, how am I going to pay for this hotel room? I have until 10am, and on my way out, I have to pay for the room. 
I just need you to send me a couple hundred to my account for the room, and I'll be able to manage after that. But you said you don't have any of your cards on you, right? They were in your wallet. Uh, that's right. Well, I still have my phone, so could you Venmo me some money? And I might be able to pay with the card I have downloaded on my phone? Let's start with this. Why do you think someone like me has to be the one to help you get out of your bad situation? Huh? You think I'm going to want to help you after the way you threw me aside on my birthday of all days? You have to get a grip on reality and see that I don't want to help you anymore. You hold it right there! You don't feel bad for me in any way? Don't you still have feelings for me? I get that we got a divorce just a few days ago, but you and I have been married for 10 years, right? You were the one that lost feelings for me first, right? So when I found that out, I thought to hell with my feelings for you and threw them all in the dumpster, where they belong. No, there's no way you're already over me. I know better than anyone that you're one of the kindest people in the world. I get that you're trying to act all tough right now, but in the end, you're going to help me out, right? I'm really not sure where you're getting that impression of me from. But look, I've known for a couple of days now that that fey chick is the kind of woman who is only into you for your money, and her way of getting to it is by committing marriage fraud and scamming you. What? Recently, there was another victim to her crimes, all right? My friend Christy was very nice and told me all about Faye and her ties to one of her colleague's ex-husbands. She even showed me a picture of Faye afterwards so that I could verify that you were in fact with the same young woman as the previous man. And after verifying that, my feelings about the situation really changed. You? Why didn't you tell me about her sooner so that I could have avoided all of this? The reason for that is because I'm not as kind as you led yourself to think I am. I really was looking forward to seeing the outcome of what kind of fool she'd be able to play you as in the aftermath of her game. I mean, you threw me away without a care in the world for my feelings, so what makes you think I wouldn't want to do the same for you? You're awful! This makes you like her accomplice or something now! And you're telling me that Christy knew about all of this going on as well?! Yep, she knew before either of us. Well, about Faye and all she'd done, at least. And I think by this point, most of the people in town know about Faye because she appeared on the news after her first stunt. Yeah! This is all getting way too out of hand! Well, for the time being, I need you to send me some money right now so that I can get out of this hotel! If you'd really like for me to help you, then perhaps you can start off by saying you're sorry to me? I'm sorry. I really do feel bad about everything I've done to you before. I just happened to be a little tempted by Faisal, and I acted on those temptations. Now you can forgive me, please! No thanks. <laughs> hey! Christy! You go and talk with Natalie right now for me and set her straight! And if you can, can you please lend me some money for this hotel? Please? Huh? What are you going on about right now? I know you happen to know everything about what's been going on with me, right? Please! You're the only person that I can ask for help now! You and I have known each other for a long time now, so please help me! Right? Could you please refrain from trying to get me all wrapped up in your problems? And to be fair, this is what you deserve after what you did to Natalie. So you figure out how to help yourself on your own. So you really want me to go and tell Natalie about the relationship you and I have had? Hmm? If you do not help me get out of this, then I'm going to go and tell Natalie everything about you and me! I'm not messing around anymore! I will seriously do it! I have nothing to lose now, but you might! What kind of past are you even talking about right now that you and I had? I'm talking about how before I married Natalie, you and I have been going out with one another. If I tell her about that, she's going to be shot! She might not even let you be her friend anymore after that! Huh? Give me a break, Ken. Her and I had talked about that whole story a long time ago. What? It's not like you were dating me while you were together with her, right? 
The only thing that's happened is Natalie marrying my ex-boyfriend, and she sees it that way as well. There was never an overlap in the time you were dating me and when she started dating you. So why are you bringing that all up now like it's going to make any difference? You've already talked with her about it then? She never told me about how you guys talked about that! It's not like she meant to hide that from you. I mean, there was no reason for me to try and hide that little fling we had back then because it has nothing to do with her other than be a topic of light conversation. So you can go ahead and tell her, but she's not going to give a crap about it. Natalie already knows everything about what you and I did, and she doesn't care. But, well, then, I'm gonna lie about it and say that we were having an affair while she was with me. No matter how much she believes of that, she's still going to be shocked in some way and will most likely begin to doubt you! Really? She's going to know you're on your last leg and are just trying to spread bullcrap. You really are such a toxic little man. You used to be so much better when you were younger. What happened? Shut up! I want you to keep your mouth shut and let me lie to her about how you and I had a thing going on while I was with Natalie! Now, are you going to help me or are you going to make me lie to her? Go ahead and lie to her. I don't care. Are you sure about that? You and Natalie are best friends. Are you really going to risk losing her after not helping me? That's right. Her and I are best friends. And that's why the both of us trust one another 100%. She has no reason to believe your bullcrap, unlike how you believed in Faze. Well... We'll have to see about that then. I think you're thinking too highly of you guys' friendship. Things like that are only one small lie from falling apart into rubble. <laughs> and that's because all of the friends you've ever had have been a bunch of selfish losers like yourself, who never really cared about one another. You have no place talking to me about my friendships like that! So you're really not going to help me out this time by lending me some money? You can go ahead and tell Natalie anything you'd like. Even about this lie of us having an affair. I see. Then I'm gonna go tell her. You better be ready for what's gonna happen to you next. <laughs> hey, because things have turned out so poorly for all of us, I'm going to let you in on a very important secret. Christy and I, we had an affair back when you and I were together. <laughs> oh? Is that so? Yep. I'm sure you're going to start questioning that witch now, huh? <laughs> I told her that if she had helped me, I wouldn't ever tell you this secret. But she never did help. I guess this is it for both of yours. Friendship! <laughs> I see. So you're on your last leg now. Well, Ken, remember that Christy and I are best friends. You understand that, right? Huh? I know that the two of you are best friends. <laughs> I'm sure you're shocked now, after learning that your best friend has stabbed you in the back. <laughs> I don't believe a word you've said. I know what this is all about. You and her had dated one another before you started to go out with me. And, well, now that Christy has said she's not going to help you after you pleaded and pleaded, you thought you'd lie to me about that as a way of getting me angry with her, right? Uh, no. I would never... I'm telling you the truth. She and I had an affair while I was with you. Seriously? I knew it. <laughs> you are the worst at lying about things you know, Ken. <laughs> How many more times are you going to tell me you're serious or that it's the truth? <laughs> I'm not lying! All of this is very, very true! Huh? Is that right? Well, if that's how much you believe what you're telling me is true, then I guess I'll have to get a settlement from you for that case as well. Uh, 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 that was... well... Well, you are so set on getting me to believe that you had an affair with Christy, right? Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'm going to get money from you for that as well. And you did tell me during the divorce that you'd pay me whatever I asked for in a settlement, right? Well... You're going to follow through with all you told me before, right? You're in your 40s now and are an adult. As an adult, we all have to follow through in the promises we make, right? Hey, 
maybe you can stop all that. I get it. I made another mistake. Leave me alone now. I never had an affair with Christy while together with you. That was all just a lie to try and get you to fight her. You really are such a waste of life. Seeing someone like you waste your life away like that, when someone far more deserving of it might be dying right now, is depressing for me. Well, I'm just glad you're telling me in the end that you'd been lying. But here's the thing. I don't believe you were lying. I think you did cheat on me with Christy, and I'm going to have you pay for that too now. <laughs> well, come on now. You might want to say that was a lie now, but you tried so hard to get me to believe you cheated on me with her that I'm now hooked. And it's not like you've never cheated on me before, as you were just doing it a few days before my birthday. So you're going to pay for all of that. But I told you that I lost everything! All my money to that fae witch! I have no way to pay you anything now! I don't give a crap. Ah, and make sure you don't come back to this house, okay? I followed through with that promise and have started to throw out all your things. <laughs> hey! If you do all that to me, then how am I going to be able to live life? Right? I'm wondering the same thing now. How the hell are you going to make it out of this alive? Guess we'll have to see. <laughs> please! Please just forgive me! Just let me be back together with you, please! Hey, I'm sorry, but that's going to be a no from me. <laughs> you think I'd ever want to be together with some ugly-looking 40-year-old man? <laughs> After that, it took a few days, but Ken was able to manage finding his way back to my house. But I'd gone and changed the locks on all the doors, and changed the name on the house to mine. And so after realizing that, I kicked him off my property. Ken began to cry like a big baby as he sat at the gate to my house, banging on it, and since it started to become such a huge problem for the people in the neighboring houses having to listen to him, I called the police. They came and picked him up and took him from my house to the nearest police station. And a few days after that happened, I had a lawyer go meet him at the jail cell he was being held in, and help him find a way to get the money I was asking for into my account. After that was all said and done, and the money was now safely in my bank account, I sold the house and moved into a nice apartment. Ken was later let out of the jail cell, but having lost his house, his money, his car, and everyone's trust, he went on another crazy mission to try and find me. But after weeks of never being able to find me and living on the streets, he finally gave up and went back to his hometown. I really wonder what kind of life he's living there now, and how he's feeling deep down. <laughs> a little while later, after Ken left town, I heard on the news that Faye was finally caught by the police and taken away to prison. I guess after finding all of this out, you could call this a very happy ending to the story. I've been living on my own now and have no intentions of finding another man to take Ken's place, as I've put most of my time into work and Christy has moved back home to her parents' house to help them out as they grow older, solving the problem of all their loneliness. She really is my best friend, and I'm glad that the two of us were able to work together to rid this town of a man like Ken. <laughs>